it's David and Brian from VM Blog, and we're here in San Diego. And we're covering the KubeCon uh, Cloud Native 2019 conference, and here's some of the highlights from the show. at KubeCon 2019 in San Diego, and we're visiting with Platform 9. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the company and what you're showing here at KubeCon? Sure, hi, uh, my name is Kamish Pemaraju. Uh, at Platform 9, we solve the problem of running Kubernetes at scale without the operational burden. What we find is a lot of customers, once they start expanding their Kubernetes clusters across multiple locations and with multiple clusters, the challenge of managing it and operating it becomes extremely difficult. So when I say operations, I'm referring to things like upgrades, security patching, role-based access control, and just multiple cluster management. And uh, we have a managed service, a SaaS service, that allows customers to easily consume Kubernetes. And we, as Platform 9, manage all of that in the background. And, um I know you've already talked a little bit about how you work with Kubernetes and what problem it solves, but um, how do you fit into the ecosystem and you know, what are the specific pain points that your product solves? So uh, we work with upstream Kubernetes. Uh, we have started to, a lot of our customers have started asking us about related cloud native services like monitoring, such as Prometheus, Istio, the service mesh, uh, and logging with FluentD. So we're starting to in, uh, get those projects uh, also as part of our offering uh, as a managed service. So if you're doing a production level Kubernetes, you need all of those additional services also. And they're all managed uh, and provided by us and we take care of all the operational burden. And do you have anything uh, new that you're offering here at the show? So we are just launching a, a beta of our uh, free tier of our uh, managed Kubernetes service. Uh, we are signing up beta users as we speak. Uh, this is actually our free forever Kubernetes service. People can just sign up and uh, they can start using the free service on infrastructure of their choice. So for example, if you want to get started with uh, Kubernetes and want to run it on your laptop, you can do so with the free tier. Uh, we are actively soliciting beta testers as we speak. Uh, and over the next couple of months, after the beta program is done, we'll be launching the live version of this, uh, of this product. And lastly, is it possible for us to get a demo? Yeah, we can uh, show you a demo of uh, the product uh, here. We have it in our demo station. Oh, great. So what are you going to show us? Yeah, great. So we have uh, Papa Man Managed Kubernetes here, and I have, uh, this is called the Clarity Interface. Um, and this is the Puffle 9 user interface, which is designed to be a single pane glass portal that lets our customers aggregate all of their capacity across the different data centers uh, and our public clouds. Uh, once you aggregate these different environments, you can then slice and dice them across different regions and different tenants. So, for example, in this demo environment, we have uh, one region called Kubernetes, but you can have multiple regions in Platform 9, and a region will typically map to your geographical location. Um, in this environment, we have about three different clusters. Um, each one of them is created on a different environment. Uh, the first cluster is created on Amazon Public Cloud, the second one on Azure, and the third one is created on a data center using just bare metal physical hosts. Um, and so one of our key value propositions is we enable our customers to build a truly hybrid Kubernetes environment where you can do multi-cluster management across a wide variety of endpoints, VMware, bare metal, KVM, Amazon, uh, as well as Azure being some of them. Um, the way to do that is simply by adding what we call a new cloud provider, uh, and that is your place for specifying the credentials to an underlying endpoint that you want to then create your Kubernetes clusters on. So for example, if you select Amazon, then you would specify credentials uh, for your AWS environment. Um, 
and then once you've created a cloud provider, then you go ahead and uh, deploy one or more clusters on that environment. So for example, this is an Amazon environment that we're creating a cluster on, and uh, you can see that there's a very Amazon-specific native uh, integration that we provide. Let's just call this a test cluster, and uh, we're going to select a region to deploy the cluster on. CSCS Central. So your user typically has permissions to only perform operations on some regions and not all. And so which is where it gives this error. Uh, but essentially, on the set of regions that you have permissions to perform the operation on, you can go ahead and uh, perform that operation. And so going back to the infrastructure plane, then once you have the clusters available, uh, you can select the cluster and perform an upgrade, an update, or scale operation. And these are all done one click, real time. Uh, and upgrade handles upgrading your Kubernetes from, say, 1.13 to 1.14. Uh, so it handles all major Kubernetes version upgrades. Um, and then we have various other capabilities. Application Catalog is one of them, which lets you deploy uh, as Helm charts through one-click deployment all of the popular applications that are built in the community and available to be deployed as microservices uh, on Kubernetes clusters. Great. So that's just a quick view of Platform 9. Thanks. And uh, where can they go if they want to find out more information? Um, Platform9.com is the best place to go. We offer a free trial, and we're also coming out with a limited beta of a free tier offering. So that's the best place to go.